Hi everyone and welcome to a new lecture on XHTML and CSS. In this lecture we'll learn how to create divs and what are the divs and positioning. So divs are basically elements that will create sections on your website to put some content. So let's create our first div in contact.html we have three paragraphs the XHTML intro paragraph, the XHTML overview paragraph and then we have the XHTML motivation. Let me just delete this style here. Let's leave only the P tag and in the third paragraph let's also take this out and put a P tag here this we can take this span tag out and at the end here let's type P save this so now we have three different paragraphs now let me just check this and run this in Chrome right now okay this is what we get everything is in red so let's go to style.css and let's take the red out save this as a matter of fact let's take all this CSS properties out and save it and this one as well let's return back and let's run it now okay the, so this is what we have and I'm gonna teach you how to create for each different paragraph a div so we will create three divs and inside each div we will put the paragraph let's create a div for the first paragraph so to do that we must wrap everything that is in the paragraph including this h1 inside a div so we type div tag here and we can close it here okay okay so this is all the content of this unique div and to give it unique properties of CSS and style this paragraph we must give a class or an ID to this div so let's give it a class and call this for example or better let's give it an ID a unique ID and call this intro now let's do the same for the second paragraph and open a div tag here ID let's call this um, overview and close the div down here and here open new div ID equals and motivation okay and let's close div here okay perfect so now we have three different divs each div with his own paragraph inside now let's save this and let's go to style.css and let's try styling the IDs so the first ID was let us check here intro so I'm gonna type intro so we just type the pound symbol and intro and let me just put a border and a border it's something that it's going to be very very useful when you are creating web pages you'll see just in a second why let's give it a colon and then one pixel this is the thickness of the border space now you type solid and then space again and the color that you want for the border let's give it black 
and semicolon okay save it if you want to know more about properties that you can put here in the border you can go to w3 schools as always and type w3 schools for example here in google and type borders and if you click here here you'll find everything you need to know about borders and what properties you can use with borders okay let's go here and now type a color blue and then let's type a width and 300 pixels or instead of 300 pixels let's type a percentage okay and if we give it a hundred percent it will stretch along the whole width of the browser okay so let's do that and let's give it a height and the height I'm gonna give it a fixed height so I'm gonna type maybe 80 pixels now let's save this and let's do the same for the others so copy and the others were called ID overview and ID motivation so here I'm going to type overview and here I'm going to type motiv motivation before we open this in the browser make sure I you have the I of the intro ID and capital I as it is in the XHTML code and the height let's give it a auto height okay so it will fit or stretch as the content size is So let's go to contact.html and now run this in Chrome and now it's perfect. So now it's everything cleaned up and very very presentable and as I told you the border is very very useful for you to control where the div width and height is. Okay, the limit of each division or div and this is where it is so you can control it okay so everything looks very good now and we have the different three paragraphs inside the three divs and basically this is how we define sections on a web page so now I'm gonna teach you how to position in different places of your web page each div or whatever div you want so first let's go to the code and there are three types of positioning which is the absolute positioning the relative and the fixed so let's start with the absolute positioning and to do that and in order for you to see better how it works let's give it a back background color to the intro div let's call this let's give it a blue okay and here you should type color so in here in the overview let's give it as well a background color yellow and in the motivation let's give it a background background color red okay let's go back to contact.html and run it so there it is and this should we have to change the first one because everything is in blue so let's go back to style.css and instead of blue let's give for example orange okay let's go back here and run this 
Okay, there it is. So we have the first paragraph, the background color all are orange, the the second one is yellow, the third one is red. So now I'm going to style the positioning and position different places of the web page so you can check out how this positioning thing works. Let's go back to style.css and give it an absolute position to the intro div. So to do that we type position colon absolute and semicolon and save this. So let's see the difference now if we go to contact.html and run it. We have a little difference from the first or the absolute positioning div to the other two divs, which is it stretches to the end and throughout all the website or all the width of the website. You see that the the second paragraph it's basically being overlapped as well with the height. Let me show you another example of absolute positioning. Let's go back to the code. If you change the width to 200 pixels, you will also see that it overlaps the second and the third paragraph. Okay, so it's an absolute position this div doesn't care if there's any other divs it's going to overlap them okay so we have to be very careful when we give absolute position to divs now you also can see that there is a little margin between the limit of the web browser and the start of the div here at the left so to avoid this and keep the div as close as possible to the limit of the browser we go to the CSS code and type left zero pixels okay so zero pixel is going to be the space that is going to be between the absolute position in div and the limit of the browser so if you go back and refresh it you see that now it's as close as possible to the limit of the browser okay I'm going to show you now how to solve all this overlapping problem the first thing we should do is to put all the three divs inside a container which is another div or the parent div so let me go here and type div ID equals container and down here after the three paragraphs I'm gonna close the div okay so now we wrapped all the three paragraphs or the three divs inside another div which is a container now let's give some attributes or properties in CSS to this div container let's go to style.css first let's save the file contact.html and you can type here container which I think it's not in capital C let me just check that yes small C container and curly braces and let's type border one pixel solid black the height is going to be auto height the width let's give it a width of uh, 700 pixels and save this now the position of the container we're going to type relative and semicolon now this position relative is not going to affect the container itself but the elements or the divs inside the container Sorry, I have a little error here. It's not a container, it's container. And now it's ready. Let's go and run this in Chrome. And perfect. So now we have a box or a div, a main div called container. And the three 
divs of the paragraphs inside it. Now you see that we have still the overlapping problem. And to solve this, let's take the absolute position out of here, the left zero pixels as well. And let's put the container now in the middle of the page. To do that, we use the margin property of CSS. And now we give it two values, zero pixels, which is the value for the margins of the top and bottom of the web page. And the next value is from left and right of the page. And I'm going to type auto. So automatically, this will auto position your divs in the middle of the web page, or in this case, the container div. There's also more values you can give to the margin. So you can go to W3Schools as always and see for yourself how you can apply more properties. This is the one we're going to use right now and it's very, very useful to center a full div in your web page. So let's go to contact.html now and run this in Chrome. And this is what you get. Perfect. We now have centered the full container div with all the other divs inside it. Now we still have a little problem, which is the overlapping situation. But you can see now that this first div, which is absolute, it absolute fits and absolute positions inside the parent div, which is the container and is relative. Okay. So now if we give 10 pixels from the left, it will be 10 pixels from the left of the parent div, okay? And not 10 pixels from the full web browser. Let's run this in Chrome again. Okay, and there it is, okay? It's still, as you can see, inside the parent div, and it has 10 pixels of space between the left of the parent div, okay? If we take the position relative from the parent div and go back to contact.html and run this, you'll see that it comes back to the left of the full web page, okay? It's not inside the parent div container anymore, okay? So this is why we use relative positioning so we can keep and use margins or other attributes for divs that are inside a relative div. So let's go back and give it a position relative here. And now we can go here and take this out, left zero, save this. Let's put here a hundred percent, save this and run this now in Chrome and perfect. Okay, so this is what we get. We have the three different divs now perfectly readable. The only problem is we still overlap the second div because we have here the position absolute. Let's take that out, save this and refresh and now perfect. Okay, so now you know that absolute positioning will, will absolute position the div whenever you want, wherever you want on your web page, unless we use the parent div with relative position. Now there's also another position you can use, which is the fixed position. To do that, let's go down here and create Let's type here position fixed. Save this. And if we refresh it, you'll see that it basically stays still on the web page. Okay, so I can push the web page down and it stays still, it doesn't move. Okay, this is very, very useful and common whenever you have at the top of the page, 
some kind of uh, ad or something that you're going to put fixed on your top of your web page or on the left side or wherever you want on your web page okay so this is all for now and hope you guys understood everything and see you